Today I'm going to talk about this device that mounts on the back of your standard toilet and tells you if it's uh, running on or the tank's not filling up. Hello, I'm Blake, professional innovator and designer in pursuit of the invisible smart home. Water leak alert. <laughs> Alright, let's get to it. So normally, I wouldn't uh, look at a product like this because it can't really uh, connect to the smart home. It's just a standalone device that beeps, uh, various beeps and blinks various lights when there's a problem. So I wouldn't normally have interest in something like this, although to me it seems like a cool solution. But I, I would have interest in something like this if I could figure out how to actually connect it to my smart home. So I'm going to play with this a bit, but this might be something that we would maybe turn into a matter device or other, maybe Z-Wave, so that it could be connected to the, uh, the smart home. I guess there's some warning there about something. Do not allow red sensors to scrape or contact the inside of the tank. Failure to do so could cause damage to the sensor and prevent the unit from working properly. Alright, I'll be careful. And there's instructions. All right, so there's a simple one page of instructions. And I've watched a few videos and read some Amazon reviews. And then there's a second page in here, which is nice. They have uh, pictures and names of the direct contacts and engineers, US designed. So you can call those guys if you have any problems. Let me show you here. So basically the instructions are very simple. You install it on the back of the toilet and you pull the uh, tab careful to hold this when you pull the tab the battery tab you leave it to do its analysis for an hour and then you uh, the lights blink various colors to let you know what's going on i guess and then you uh, and then you flush the toilet and then it's uh, it's working so we'll install it now and uh, go through that process and then I'm going to run some simulated tests to see, uh, you know, if it beeps when it doesn't fill up and when the toilet runs on and so on. For the sake of this test, I'm going to put it on the front of the toilet. Alright, let's put it in there. Pull it. And so those lights will blink for a bit as per the instructions and uh, I'll wait for about an hour and then I'll flush the toilet and then I'll go through some uh, simulated test. But maybe let me just show you what it looks like on the inside. Presume, presume this probe uh, knows the level and knows the rate of uh, flow in terms of filling up or emptying and it uses those to kind of make decisions on if there's a problem or not. So I've waited uh, about an hour or so and uh, all three lights are blinking at the same time and I guess it's ready so I'll just give it a flush. Before I start my test let's just get a baseline of how long the toilet takes to fill up here. it takes a little less than 20 seconds to fill up. For the first test I'm going to turn off the water. All right so I've turned off the water. There we go. About 40 seconds started beeping. All right on to the next test. Hold the flap all the way open and let's see what happens. Alright, so we're getting a similar alarm. Doesn't like that either. It's good. For this test, I'm going to hold the float so that it just keeps trying to fill the tank and it uses the overflow. So it's just throwing water into the overflow. Let's see how long it puts up with that. No. Not catching that. Just let it go a little bit longer just to make sure. So there's the overflow and it's just right at the top of that ledge. Try a test to see if it just fills the tank up 
you know, three quarter and stops. Um, what that means, and that could mean like a slow leak. I'm just gonna try not to flush it. I'm just gonna try to let out some water. Oop, that can't be good. I hope I didn't break that pin. All right, so I waited about uh, 25 minutes, basically. Uh, it just looks like it, I've come back and it looks like it's just recalibrated. So before I get to the conclusions, I just wanted to show you what it looks on the inside. I've opened it up, it was a little easy to snap open and you pull the whole thing out. It takes a CR2032 battery and there's the reset button. In conclusion, I like the idea. I think it, uh, it's a good solution because I, you know, I looked at their website and some other videos on this product and it's obvious there's millions or maybe billions of gallons of water uh, wasted every year because of uh, open flaps. However, it seems like it only knows when the tank is, uh, you know, empty. It doesn't know if it fills up too much. It doesn't know if it fills up halfway and it's overflowing into the, uh, the overflow. Uh, so if a valve is stuck open and it's running to overflow, so I might have missed something, but that's what I've seen. I still think it's a cool idea, and perhaps you could add a couple, or at least the one alert, so that you know if the valve is running on and it's running into the overflow. But I think it would be a cool product combined with a leak sensor, and that's kind of the business we're in, uh, you know, with our Bulldog valve and leak sensors. So we could combine a uh, leak sensor with this and then maybe upgrade it to uh, Z-Wave or Matter or whatever uh, would make sense. So I'll probably talk about it with the, uh, the EcoNet team and see what they think. Uh, please like and subscribe and uh, look for my next video where I'm going to talk about this uh, Zigbee button and what's the best way to set up uh, lamps in your uh, smart home.